Let us see how we can sign up for GCP. GCP stands for Google Cloud Platform and it is one of the leading cloud provider on top of AWS and Microsoft Azure. We will be primarily using it to get hands-on with respect to several skills such as Linux, Python, SQL, etc. over the duration of this course as well as other courses. It is completely optional to use GCP. You can leverage either AWS or Azure or some other platform just to practice. Also, you might not have to set up the server for all the trainings but I would highly recommend you to do so, so that you can actually have your own environment which is powerful and very effective to learn the modern technologies. The reason why I have chosen GCP over AWS or Azure is the credit and the duration of the credit. AWS provides something called as free tier for one year. However, their uh, credit mechanism is good for exploring one skill at a time. If you want to provision a powerful EC2 instance and start practicing on it, it is not good enough. With respect to Azure, they give $200 credit and it is only valid for one month. Within one month, if you cannot saturate the $200 credit, the credit is gone. You have to start paying from the second month. With GCP, it provides $300 credit for one year to try out. You can actually go to Google Cloud and complete the signup process. This is how it will look like. The landing page will look like this. Let me open another private window to show you how the landing page will be. You can say cloud.google.com. This is how it will look like. You can click on get started for free. You can sign in with your Gmail account and this is how it will look like. You can see that your free trial is waiting. Activate now to get $300 credit to explore Google Cloud products. You can click on activate here and then uh, you will get the required uh, instructions to actually sign, uh, complete the sign up process. You can choose your country, accept the terms, click on continue. You can see the details, uh, what is the account type. If it is individual, you can just say individual here. You might have to choose unregistered individual here. You might have to enter PAN number in some cases. However, it is optional. You have to enter address and then you might have to set up your uh, credit card. However, your credit card will not be charged unless and until you start using the environment to provision resources from it. You might want to provision virtual machines, storage and many other resources. Unless and until you start using those resources as part of the platform, your credits will not be saturated. So far, the interface you have seen is based out of the Indian account. If you are from other country, the interface will be a bit different, especially for the sign up process. Once the sign up is done, the interface will look same for everyone and it is how it will look like for an active account. You will have project and other details and also you should be focusing on this uh, sidebar. You can get this sidebar by clicking on this. As you start using GCP, you will understand more about this. We will be provisioning virtual machines. We will be going to the billing to understand the costs associated with the resources we have provisioned so and so forth. Unless and until you provision the resources, you will not be charged. Just keep that in mind. Complete the sign up process whether you will be using it immediately or not and be ready to actually provision the servers to practice and learn the modern technologies with powerful machines.